Beavers bring life to the rivers and the land. They re-engineer the landscape to create safe habitat for themselves where they can hide from predators and swim to where their food grows. Beavers feed on barks and leaves in the late autumn or winter and switch to softer wetland plants in the spring and summer. Life is easy for beavers that live on big rivers. But when the best habitats are occupied, the young beavers are forced away from them through vicious territorial disputes and must make their home along narrow tributaries. Here they are more vulnerable to predators. So millions of years ago, to avoid the big cats that preyed on them, they learned to build dams. In doing so, they radically changed the habitat on which they live. Using stone, branches and mud with astonishing ingenuity, they construct one and then a series of small dams. Wherever they find a leak, they stop it. Before long, even small seasonal streams start to look like mountain rice paddies dammed up with wood. These are phenomenally rich habitats that abound with life, harboring an abundance of insects, great concentration of frogs, small mammals and water birds. Beaver dams also regulate flood and drought, cleanse the water of sediments, filter out poisons and recharge groundwater. North American tribes revered the beavers. They knew the wetlands created by the beavers are Earth's kidneys, purifying water and regulating its flow. Beavers are highly social creatures who live in lodges. And just like humans, they cuddle and deeply care for their offspring. They bring them green food, warn the litter and carry them away from danger and for these reasons are called little people. In the late 1600s, the beavers meant money-minting machines for the Europeans. Once numbered in the tens of millions, beavers had been almost eliminated because of the value of their scent glands, which contain a compound that is a powerful painkiller. The blend of this valuable compound, the fine fur and tasty meat ensured that one beaver was worth as much as of an entire year's earnings. Demand was insatiable. In particular, people wanted their fur hats, for they were waterproof and durable. Tappers fanned out across the new world for valuable pelts. As the beavers disappeared, the water went with them. Rich ecosystems, especially in the southern states, dried up and vanished. Hunting ground and fisheries collapsed and forest fires raged through the shriveled vegetation. The downstream turned brown. Cattle crowded to drink from the last of the old beaver ponds. Eradicating beavers was a terrible mistake, causing harm that flowed through our living systems. By bringing back the little people to the exhausted lands, we can hope to restore our rivers and wetlands replenish our groundwater, stop floods and droughts, and witness once again the wildlife.